Trouble at City Hall today for Hamilton's proposal to deal with tent camps. City councillors were debating a suggestion of so-called sanctioned areas where unhoused people could camp out. But the proposal didn't go over well. Al Sweeney was at the meeting and joins us live from City Hall with more. Al. Hi there, Taz. Well, city councillors wanted to ensure respect for the human rights of the people who were forced to live in these tent camps. But some of them said that's not what they saw in the proposal for city staff for these sanctioned camps. With an encampment of homeless people becoming a long-standing feature by the city hall parking lot, the councillors were looking for ways to help these folks get them into stable and manageable encampments until they can actually find homes. Rooted in an approach that upholds the human rights of residents living in camps. But Councillor Cameron Crutch says the stress on human rights didn't make it into the city's proposal. The direction here was impeccably clear, but then the result is something different. And now we're back to a kind of square one-ish place in my, in my heart anyways, that's where I feel. The city staff presented the proposal to allow homeless people to camp in sanctioned encampments that would follow a series of rules. And if the homeless don't go along with them... We would then engage um, in escalated enforcement, and that may involve working with our partners with Hamilton Police. Under the sanctioned encampments rules, there would be a limit of five tents together in any one group. Each group of tents would have to be 50 metres from any other group of tents. The maximum space for a tent would be three metres by three metres, and there's a long list of prohibited places for tents. You cannot be near or up against a highway sidewalk entrance or exit to a fire route against or under or be attached and tied to any building or permanent structure. You cannot be at cemeteries. You cannot be at any community garden, including any garden shed or greenhouse, on a pathway sidewalk parking lot and or under any bridge. The list goes on. Some councillors and others say this isn't the way to respect human rights. Fundamentally, at the end of the day, uh, what I know is that folks who are living unhoused don't want to be forced to move from here to there to there to there at a repeated process, nor do they want to be losing their belongings. Where are the human needs in this? If this is meant to be a human rights approach or a human rights-based approach to encampment, where are the humans? They say the human beings and their rights got lost in these proposals. So this afternoon, the city councillors rejected the plan for sanctioned camps, at least for now. They directed the city staff to consult with the public next month and then report back to the city councillors in August. And it's worth noting that if the plan were eventually to go ahead, the city staff say what we would see is groups of five tents in parks all over the city each one of these groups of five tents, 50 meters from another group of five tents.